are you guys doing today? Good. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Good. I want to say thank you guys for coming to this um, this uh, uh, Slack tutorial. Really appreciate uh, the enthusiasm and, and uh, coming to learn a little bit more about this tool. I think it's going to be really useful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Yeah, share. All right, so uh, the topic that I'm going to be talking to you guys about is um, is channels and DMs. Uh, DM stands for direct messages. Uh, so channels are like um, uh, channels are conversations with anybody and everybody. Um, direct messages are more focused. Like if you want to talk to one or two people, uh, that would be a direct message. Uh, topics I'm going to cover are finding and joining channels. Uh, channel details, starting new channels, and using direct messages. Uh, let's start with finding and joining channels. Uh, first thing is um, if you look on the left hand side of your, your Slack, there'll be a, a, a bar there. Uh, you should have all of uh, a bunch of channels listed there. Those are channels that you are already a member of. Uh, one of the first ways that you can join a channel is if uh, somebody has made a post with a link to a channel. For instance, I have uh, this post here uh, where I have linked the help channels for Google, Slack, and Trello. Um, the easiest way to join those would just to be to click on it. And if you click on that channel, that will jo join you to that channel. You'll now be a part of that channel. It'll be in your list here and you can access that and be a part of that uh, conversation. Uh, the other way that you can join a channel other than just clicking on that link is to um, look at the channel browser up in the top left here and it will have the list of channels. Um, there also may be channels, uh, so there may be some channels here that you're, you're, you have listed here, but you're not a member of. Um, if you click on those, that will make you a member of those as well. But maybe um, there's another channel, so like I, let's see here. Uh, let me leave this channel. I'm going to leave this channel, so now I'm not a member of that channel. But say um, I look at the the channel browser, and um, I I've gone through, and I see that there is a channel here. Oh, I'm I want to be an interest. I'm interested in that. I want to be a member of that channel. All you have to do is click on that channel, and click on join, and then you it will pop up on the left hand side, and you'll be a member of that channel. Again, if you want to leave a channel, you can just click on that to, to leave that channel. So that's the, the, the easiest way to, to find uh, and join channels is by clicking on their links here or by using the channel browser. Uh, the next topic is channel details. So um, once you have your, your channels here that you're a member of, there's uh, several things that you can do. Uh, the first thing that you can do is if, if there's a specific channel that maybe is of particular interest to you, uh, you can, um, you can star that channel. So I am really interested in the CET channel. So I want to highlight that channel. That's really important to me. And if I star that channel, it brings it up to the list of starred um, channels and conversations right there. And so it kind of brings it to the top of the list so you can kind of focus on that channel. Uh, in addition, um, if there's a um, maybe a, a thread that you've started or a message that you've started uh, in a channel that's really important, uh, then you can um, you can do this option called pinning. If you pin to this message to that channel, um, it basically it, it it says that this is this is a really important message, and that anybody that joins this this um, this this channel should pay attention to that message. So inside the channel, up at the top, um, you'll see uh, uh, this button here with a little thumbtack. These are pinned messages. If you click on that, on the right hand side, it will show you all the pinned messages uh, in that particular channel. And so these would be uh, a, a quick way to kind of review a, a new channel to see what the important stuff going on in that channel uh, is. Um, you can um, uh, just kind of quickly look through that way. Uh, so it's stars and pins. Um, if you right click on a channel, you can mute a channel. This will um, uh, keep the, the channel from, um, uh, so that will basically keep it from giving you those notifications. You can also unmute a channel um, or leave a channel. 
um, by right clicking on it there. Um, inside uh, your messages um, that you post on in a channel, you can also um, attach files. Uh, so if you want to attach a file from a Google Drive or from your computer, you can do that. Um, you can also use uh, emojis to respond to, to somebody. Um, if you want to, uh, if there's a conversation that uh, you're ha uh, if somebody posts something and you want to continue on that conversation, rather than just starting up a new message here at the bottom, the best way to do that is to start a thread. And basically what that means is it'll give you a place over here. And so instead of filling up the space here, um, the person has to click on the replies in order to be able to see the, the subsequent messages. And so it kind of puts it off to the side so that it's not in the main focus uh, right there. Um, so I recommend if you're, if, you're, if you're responding to somebody, use the start a thread option. I don't know if they're covering that on a, in another section or not. Um, let's see, uh, view um, uh, channel info. So if you see this button right here, this is uh, a place where you can quickly see who else is a member of this channel. Quickly, you can see there's 39 people that are a member of this channel. So pretty much everyone is a member of this channel. Here's the list of all the members. And it also shows you, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a place where you can look at the shortcuts, pinned items, or shared files for this particular channel. You just click on those and uh, you can get to that information. Um, uh, next slide. Um, starting new channels. If you want to start a new channel, all you have to do is click on create a channel. You're going to put in a name. When you put in the name, um, you cannot use spaces. If I try to do a space, it doesn't do anything. So you can either use an underscore or a dash. Uh, and write the name um, and then when um, then you can write a description this uh, when you write a when you write a description you want it to be um, a clear description to kind of give people an idea of what this conversation is about um, and then you can choose to make this channel private or not. In general, we don't want to do that because these conversations are, are meant to be open for all of copies. But if there's a particular topic that you really want to talk to somebody about, um, you could make it private. But I think it's better to use direct messages uh, for those purposes. If there's a private conversation you want to have, direct messages are a better way to do it. So you could make it private, but um, um, uh, in general, you probably don't need to do that. So then once you do create, you have the option to add members. So I'm going to add John Erickson, and Brian, where are you? Oh, boy. There's Brian and Mark, Mark DeRosa. And so when I create this channel, you all should already be members of this channel. It should pop up on your screen there. And I can say, hi, everyone. And then you guys should be able to see that message. Um, if you create a channel, you want to review that channel pretty regularly to make sure that you're keeping up with what, what's going on in that channel. If a, a, a channel is uh, no longer um, you know, of interest to you, you can uh, remove yourself from that channel. If it's, it's a really heated topic and a lot of people are weighing in, it might be uh, worth splitting it into to two channels, start a new channel to have uh, breakout discussions based on that uh, channel. Um, let's see. I think that's everything on that slide. Let's get to the last one. Uh, so the last one is direct messages. Oh, I see somebody nicely use uh, the uh, thread. I'm going to put a little emoji right there. Um, let's see. I can do emoji like this too. Oh, two different ways you can do emoji. Um, all right, uh, so direct messages, uh, DMs, like I said, is direct messages. This is a way to message specific people. So below your list of channels, you have your list of direct messages. So these are conversations with uh, uh, a specific person. Let's see, Amy sent me a direct message. Um, so I can have this conversation with her going back and forth. 
Um, you can also star and unstar uh, direct messages. So if there's a, a direct message uh, that you want starred, you can uh, do that. You can bring it up to the top there. So you have focus on that, star and unstar that conversation. Um, let's see. Uh, you can also, if you want to, uh, you can direct message yourself. So if you click on direct message, to start a direct message with someone, you just click on that plus and start typing in their, their name. So I could say I want to start a, a direct message with Brian. I click on that and click go and that will start a direct message uh, with him. Um, you can add, uh, do different people. So if I want to do Brian and uh, John, Erickson and Mark. Derosa. We can start our conversation just like that. Um, if there's a conversation that you're you're done with um, and you're not really interested anymore, you can also put click the X here, that will take it off this list on the left hand side, but it doesn't disappear forever. Uh, you can only see about 10 of these at a time. So um, after you start messaging more and more people, they'll kind of start to disappear. That doesn't mean that conversation is gone. If there's a direct message, sorry, if there's a direct message that uh, is no longer on your list and you want to find it again, you can just search in here. I know this conversation had Mark, so, oh, there's that conversation that I was looking for. Yeah, and it takes me back to that conversation. So if that conversation disappears from that list, you just click on the plus and you can search for that conversation. Um, let's see. Um, Let's see, so that's group uh, messages. You can direct message yourself if maybe um, you want to send yourself some notes um, to or reminders or you want links uh, someplace where you can, um, uh, you know, just post something that you want to get back to later. Uh, direct messaging is a good, a good way to do that. You can direct message yourself. Okay, I think that is all of my topics. Does anybody have any questions about channels or direct messages? All good? Wow, you guys are easy. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and head back to the main room there. And uh, we'll get ready to swap again. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks.